Okay, so we're going to have a quick recap on binary multiplication. So as with addition, there's a few simple rules that you're going to need to remember. And the nice thing about binary multiplication in the first instance is that it's exactly the same in binary as it would be in deanery. So 0 times 0 in deanery is 0. Don't forget that when you multiply anything by a 0, it's always going to give you a result of 0. So 0 times 1, 0. 1 times 0 is 0. And the only result in binary multiplication that will give us a 1 is 1 times 1, which, the same as in deanery, is 1. Um, with binary multiplication, we use the long multiplication method, which means that we're going to need to remember the rules for addition as well when we're trying to do a multiplication. So let's do an example and see how that will work. So let's take the example of 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, and we'll multiply that by 1, 0. So we start off from the right-hand column over here, and we start off by multiplying everything on the top row by this 0, working from right to left. So 0 times the 1 which is above it is 0. Then again, this bottom right 0 multiplied by the 0 here is 0. And then moving this way, we've got 0 times 1 is 0. 0 times 1 is 0. And 0 times 0 is 0. Now what we do is we're going to move across to this 1, and we're going to multiply everything on the top row, starting from this side, moving that way again, by this bottom number 1. But first of all, we put a 0 down. Always put a 0 down. So starting from this 1 then, multiplied by this 1 is 1. By this 0 is 0. 1 by times 1 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. And 1 times 0 is 0. Now this is where the little bit of binary addition comes in. So we put a line across. And to get our final result, we just add these two together. So if you can remember the rules for binary addition, starting from here, we've got 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 plus 1 is 1. 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 plus 1 is 1. 0 plus 1 is 1. And then we've got our 0 left. So that should be the answer to our binary multiplication. And obviously, as we did with addition, we'll just convert these into deanery just to check our results. So we've got a 1, no 2s, a 4, an 8, and no 16s. So 8 plus 4 plus 1 is 13. And on the bottom here, we've got no 1s and a 2. So a 2. So we're hoping for a result of 26 here. And along the bottom, we've got no 1s, a 2, no 4s, an 8, a 16, no 32s. So 16 plus 8 is 24, plus a 2 is 26. So we can see that we've got that one right. Okay, so we'll do one more example then just to show the process again. So this time we'll make it a little bit longer so it's a little bit more difficult. We will do 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0. And we'll multiply that by 1, 1. So line across, multiply. Again, we start from the right hand side with this 1. First multiplying this 0, then the 1, then the 0, working across that way. So 1 times 0 is 1, 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times 0, uh, sorry I've got that wrong, 0 times 1 is 0, 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times 0 is 0, 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times 0 is 0, and 1 times 1 is 1. Once we've moved across there, we're going to move on to our second one, don't forget to put the naught down first. So 1 times 0 is 0, 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times 0 is 0, 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times 0 is 0, and finally 1 times 1 is 1. Line across and add these two together. So 0 plus 0 is 0, 1 plus 0 is 1, 0 and 1 is 1, 1 and 0 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 0, carry 1, 0 plus 1 is 1 plus 1, Again, 0 carry 1. 1 plus 0 is 1 plus 1, 0 carry 1. 1 plus 1, 0 carry 1, and the 1 drops down. So that should be our answer. But again, we'll just 
add so uh, sorry we'll just convert those to deanery just to check our result <coughs> so we've got no ones a two no fours an eight a 16 no 32s and a 64 so 64 plus 16 plus 8 plus 2 gives us uh, 60, 70, 80, 88, 90. Then we've got a 1 plus a 2 gives us a 3. So we're looking for a result of 270. And if we work along the bottom here, we've got no 1s, a 2, a 4, an 8, no 16s no 32s, no 64s, no 128s, and 1, 256. So again, don't forget we're looking a result for a result of 270. So 256 plus 8 plus 4 plus 2 gives us 270. So we've got that one correct.